Great. Good, good, out. good. Let's have some fun, okay? Yeah, let's do it. All right, baby. So again, I, what I've been what I've been wanting to drive home with with guys is that when you got nobody on, you're going to position yourself according to that first baseman. Sure. You yep. want to be able to see that line drive that he catches down on his shoe tops. Which means not being too far back. Not being too far back. Yeah. Good. Okay, now, here's, here's the thing you got to consider on a ball like that one. There's always that chance that he decides that either the fielder's lost it in the sun or something. There's always the chance that he goes out. So on a ball like that one where it's so close to that, to that line, you want to come across and slash in to the infield. Okay, not too bad. Now think about this for a second. That ball's coming from up here between the mound and home plate, so you want to get in more because you want to be able to see the front of that first baseman. You want to be able to see his chest. Nice job. Nice job on that one. How you doing, Bill? Good. How about you? Sweating, I'm doing great. Yeah, I know, huh? It's not too bad right now. No, it's not. I breeze on. Yep. All right, let's have some fun with this thing. So before they start, again, the, the, the common denominator I've been talking about is you're keying off the first baseman's position, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to position yourself close enough to him that if he catches a ball down on the shoe tops, right. you want to be able to see that. If he's close, then I may have to move back get into position on a ground ball. So, yeah. yeah, I mean you don't want to move. You don't want to move super close. I right. mean, if he moves way, way up, then right. you, you know you only like maybe 10 feet back to the back. Yeah, so. more, yeah, more than that. More than that. Probably, probably 15. Yeah, but uh, but if he, but if he's in a normal position, you know, back in here somewhere, then you want to move up enough to be able to see that. Read it, read it. Okay. Now don't forget now you're in a you're in a three you're in a three man, so you don't need to go in and pivot on that ball. So if you make the decision to stay, just stay on the outside and just, just back up and hold up hold up your plate man. Let him know that you're staying in, that's all. Okay. We had the catch, no yeah. catch on that. I did you see the ball go into his glove? Yeah. Uh, but I, well, I think I did. If you saw it, it's you didn't see it long enough. You gotta, you gotta focus in on that. To, to his point, that's your responsibility. That's all.